So now once we have done the basic or the simple hosting, let's understand about uh, virtual hosting. What is virtual hosting? So uh, by now we have understood that I have only one machine, one IP address. So will I be able to host only one website? Am I able to host multiple websites on the same server, server 1? Because I already have one website. So if I am allowed to host only one website per server, then it is a sheer wastage of resources. Virtual hosting means using one IP address to host multiple websites. The benefits is that or so virtual hosting is a method of hosting multiple domains on a single server or it can be a pool of servers. So this allows me to use one server to share its resources like CPU, your memory, physical memory or NICs to multiple websites. So it's something like I hope you must have heard about shared web hosting. So that's why it is much more cheaper because they are hosting one uh, on one server. They are hosting multiple websites. That that is a shared web hosting, and it is much more cheaper as compared to a dedicated web server hosting in which you have one dedicated machine for your website. So there are a lot of things that we need to understand uh, in the virtual hosting that there are two types of hosting one is the name based hosting other is the IP based hosting so by default every virtual host is a IP based virtual host that means the traffic is being sorted to the virtual host based on which IP address they are connected so if there are multiple virtual hosts declared for a single IP I need to use the server name and the server alias directives which I'll be using. So let's see what a, how can I configure a virtual hosting. So and there is one very important thing to understand before we go into like creating the virtual host that you should understand how the layout should be done, how the uh, the virtual host layout should be done. So there should be a one folder like your public underscore HTML if you ever had a chance of working on the real servers then inside your home directory of the user or whatever username you have you will find a public underscore HTML so a good practice is that inside underscore uh, inside under the uh, public underscore HTML if you have multiple domain like domain 1.com domain 2.com you should have separate domain for each sorry separate folder for each website or, or domain and then inside that respective website folder like domain 1 it should be storing everything related to that domain this is how the folder layout should be created so now let's see how can we host multiple web uh, websites but there is one small point that normally we access the website by giving the name but now I have got a single IP and on that single IP I have got multiple websites so 99.9% .9 chances are that the client will be hitting the website by the name not by the IP but what if I enter IP because there is no website hosted on it that's the pain point so there is something known as a default domain so if the IP address is entered, it is usual for the first domain, they are sorted in alphabetic order, the first domain will be served. So normally it is recommended that you should have a domain or we call a, a default domain to have something like 00-default.conf. You should have a file 00-default.conf which is considered as a default domain and that will be served in case someone enters the IP address. So let's see how this is done. So let's first create a catch all default domain. So we will be 
we will be creating a separate directory for this so what I do I create a folder here say SRV and I say default and any name say I give here default and www this folder is created if I go to SRV default www so this folder is there so here I create a file here index dot html say I put up a heading here say this is default domain right or any message you want to give close this so there is a file there index dot html under the folder srv default www okay now but because my se linux is enabled if we if i check the status se linux is enabled and the context is different if apache wants to access it see i'll show you if i go to where www html the default location here the context of the file is http underscore sys underscore content underscore t right so apache is configured to read the files having these context so i need to reset it so i can do a reset here either i can use this same context here or i can use a restore con if you remember the previous classes so i can either do this or i can do a restore con recursive verbose srv so you see there it is changed here so if i go to srv dub dub sorry default dub 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 it is http underscore sys underscore content underscore t that's great now the configuration file need to be created under etc http as i have told you that apache by default reads all the files which are under etc conf so i will be going under etc conf not http conf sorry so I have to create a file in this folder conf.d in this folder I need to create a file and the file name should be starting with 00-default as I have told you it is a catch all kind of a default domain so this file need to be created under etc httpd conf.d so here I create a file 00 sorry hyphen default virtual host dot com and you need to write certain parameters here virtual host as it is a default write a default here and it's listening on port number 80 this is it and then I have to specify which location it need to use so I give a document rule remember I had explained you this in my case it is SRV default www now next if you wish though it is not uh, I can specify the directory index also though it is not required as the main configuration file at chdbd conf .conf already has this name but still if you wish you can specify index.html we had already created this file you can also have your custom log in case you want to have a separate log for this so I can write here logs so in the, inside this there will be a folder here logs and I said default virtual host dot log and we'll be adding everything and then close it but there is one more thing apache is configured by default in rel 7 to go only under sr where www html so apache is not going to go inside this particular folder so i need to explicitly give a directory parameter here to allow apache to go inside the folder otherwise you'll be getting an error so directory 
give the name of your directory SRV default www and then you, you give it a permission require all granted and then close the directory parameter so you need to do this for every directory you need to give this per permission explicitly so I had created one virtual default host which I had done so once we had created that default domain so let's create uh, one more virtual host there so what I do I'll again go to SRV here I create uh, say www.example.com this is the virtual domain that I wanted to have so let me create one more folder there inside www so I go here inside this folder created a file index.html write it anything say this is www.example.com so that we'll be able to identify that yes it is coming up if I again I need to do a restore con because of SE Linux so don't forget this please this is important so if I show you the tree I have got two folders directories every domain will have its separate directory will have a www folder and inside the www folder you will have the files so now I should be creating a corresponding conf file so conf.d I create say www.example.conf or anything I get 001 say 01 www.example.com hyphen vhost.com name can be any anything it doesn't matter you can give any name apply the virtual host parameter here virtual host because it's not a default I can put an asterisk here safely server name is www.example.com server alias can also be given a short name to so www1 so then the document root is very important it is going under srv www.example.com slash www so this is the folder where all the files will be stored and the directory index though we had used the same path sorry same name index.html but let's give it no harm logs is 100% optional custom log you can give on the logs folder www.example.com.log and combine that's it close it then as we had done it for the default I need to explicitly allow the directory that the Apache should be given permission to access www.example.com and I say require all granted that's all so this is how you have multiple websites hosted so let me just do a system CTL restart HTTPD and my firewall is already updated so I need not to worry about my firewall my LAN card is in work zone so HTTP is already al allowed so that makes sense so once the configuration is there now we can go to the other machine and see if I am able to get the I am getting the virtual hosting website or not so let's see that so here I am on the second machine and because we don't have the DNS so what I had done you should have this Etsy host updated for that particular domain but in case you have the DNS so you need not to worry about this so let's check it out if I give curl HTTP slash slash first let's check the uh, default so my IP address is 100 
if I write here 192.168.0.100, someone is trying to hit the server by the IP. So the default domain is coming up here. In case someone will also trying to hit by the server name, in that case also the default will be coming up. And in case I give the actual virtual host domain, I'm getting www.example.com. That makes sense. So that means my default domain is working and my virtual hosting is working. So we had just successfully configured our virtual host, virtual hosting on our server, server one. I should be able to access it by the browser also. Let's check it out. No harm. So if I give http slash slash 192.168.100, that's great. This is the default domain. Even if someone tries to hit the server by the server name, the default one will come up. Good. But if I try to get www.example.com, this is the to the one. So it is working proper. So this is again virtual hosting is one of the important objectives from the examination perspective. It's very important. Next, let's do it in the next video how to have a secure web virtual hosting something like a https website so that we are going to do in the next section